Hi guys, this is IGCSE O Level Chemistry, Paper 22, November 2019, Question 31. Which process is used to separate nitrogen and oxygen from air? That would be fractional distillation. So the options are chromatography, no. Evaporation, no. Filtration, no. Fractional distillation, yes. So this makes option D the correct option for this question. Question 32. The apparatus shown is set up and left for a week. We have damp iron wool at the top of the test tube, air filling it, and it is placed in a trough of water. Which diagram shows the level of the water at the end of the week? So iron would get oxidized to Fe2O3, consuming all the oxygen in air. And since air contains 20% O2, so we would have a rise in the level of water, which would fill 20% of the test tube. So in A, there is no rise in uh, water level. In B, there is almost 20% rise in the water level. In C, there is around 80% rise in the water level. And in D, there is a drop in the water level. So we cannot have no rise and drop. And between 20 and 80, we have 20% of air occupied by vol uh, occupied by oxygen by volume and 80% becomes incorrect. Therefore, option B is the correct option for this question. Question 33. The diagram represents an outline of the carbon cycle. Okay, so we've got photosynthesis, we've got respiration, we've got something called Y, so power stations producing carbon dioxide, animals producing carbon dioxide is represented by X, plants producing organic waste, we've got animals dying and excreting to produce organic waste, and organic waste producing fossil fuels, and fossil fuels are used up in power plants. So this is the carbon cycle. Which processes are X and Y? X is animals producing carbon dioxide, this would be Animals producing carbon dioxide would be respiration. So this eliminates options A, B, and C. So option D is correct, but let's look at Y as well. So Y is power stations emitting carbon dioxide. So power station use a fuel and the fuel burns in oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. Burning an oxygen of fuel is called combustion. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option D. Question 34. Ammonium sulfate is used as a fertilizer. It is made from ammonium sulfuric acid. Which words complete gaps 1, 2, and 3? The dash is made by the, the dash process in which dash is used as a catalyst. So, options are ammonia is used is made by the contact process? No, this becomes incorrect. Ammonia is produced by the Haber's process. This is correct. And the catalyst is vanadium 5 oxide. This becomes incorrect. Next, sulfuric acid is produced by the contact process. This is correct. Which uses vanadium 5 oxide as a catalyst? This is correct. And the last one, sulfuric acid is produced by the Haber's process. This is incorrect. So the correct option for this question is option C. Question 35. Which statement about limestone and lime is correct? Limestone combines with water to produce slack lime. Uh, limestone does not combine with water to produce slack lime. That would be hydrated lime or uh, CaOH twice. So slack lime is calcium. Oh, uh, limestone. Okay. Limestone is CaCO3. Then we've got slack line. That is calcium hydroxide. Then we've got quick line, which is calcium oxide. And slack line in water would be called lime water. 
that would be the portion of calcium hydroxide that dissolves. So all of these are referred to as lime, specifically slack lime or quick lime. So A says limestone combines with water to produce slack lime. No, slack lime is what combines with water to produce lime water. So this statement is incorrect. Next, lime is obtained from limestone by oxidation. Lime is, in this case, is quick lime because upon decomposition, we would get quick lime from limestone. So lime is obtained from limestone by decomposition, not oxidation. C, lime is used in the desulfurization of flue gases, calcium oxide. So quick lime is what is referred to as lime generally. And this is used in desulfurization of flue gases because CaO combines with SO2, producing CaSO3, which is further oxidized to form CaSO4, which is the mineral gypsum. So this is correct. And lime is used in the treatment of alkaline soils. Calcium oxide or lime itself is alkaline. So it will be used to treat acidic soils, not alkaline soils. So this makes option C the correct option for this question. Question 36. Some fractions obtained from petroleum are listed. So gasoline is used to make waxes. Okay. They will be asking which of these is correct. So which rows are correct? One, gasoline is not used to make waxes and polishes. So row one is incorrect. Row two, bitumen is used to make roads. And position in the fractionating column would be above kerosene. So this is incorrect. It is below kerosene. Next, kerosene is used as jet fuel. This is correct. And jet fuel is below gasoline. Yes, it is below gasoline. Jet fuel has around 14 carbon atoms while gasoline has around 8 carbon atoms. And refinery gas is used for heating and cooking. This is correct. And it is above gasoline. Yes, it is the first fraction. So it should be at the top of the fractionating column. So since rows 3 and 4 are correct, this makes option C the correct option for this question. Question 37. Which products are obtained by the cracking of an alkane? So do we get an alkene? Yes, we get an alkene. This eliminates option D. Do we get hydrogen? Yes, we get hydrogen. This eliminates option C. And water? We do not get water. Eliminating option A. Making option B the correct option for this question. Question 38. Ethanol is produced by fermentation or by the reaction of ethene with steam. Which row is correct? By fermentation, uses a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius? No, it does not. So fermentation needs yeast as a catalyst? Yes, it does. Fermentation is a very slow reaction? Yes. It produces a high yield of ethanol? No. So options A and D have been eliminated. Now, for from ethene, we have option B and C. Does not need a catalyst? It needs a catalyst in the form of H3PO4 or phosphoric acid. So option B has been eliminated. And from ethene, the reaction to produce ethanol is very fast. Yes, this is correct. Making option C the correct option for this question. Question 39. The diagram shows the structure of a monomer and a polymer made from it. So this is an addition polymerization. The monomer is ethene and the polymer is polyethene. What are the monomers and polymers? So monomer is ethene, eliminating options A and B. And the polymer would be polyethene, eliminating option C, making option D the correct option for this question. Question 40. The structure of a naturally occurring polymer X is shown. So this polymer has got a mite bonds present. And it has got different monomers as represented by a shaded box, a black box, and a colorless box or a white box. 
so multiple monomers and formation of amide bond what is x x is an amino acid no amino acids are monomers not a polymer a carbohydrate there is no glycosidic link present a protein yes a protein is made up of 20 different amino acids which are naturally occurring and it forms via condensation polymerization to form the amide bond between the amino acid residues so it is correct and it is a sugar no no glycosidic links present therefore option c is the correct option for this question